I made a mistake thinking those were six inches. Those are eight inch wheels. Mind you, I still got the other wheels here. Look how big comparison to the wheel. Look how the difference in size. That's an eight inch. That's a five inch. We need to get an eight inch. So my next order will be two eight inch wheels. These five inches are gonna have to do for the meantime. But I took the back wheels. Hold on one second. Let me fix my mic. So I took the back wheels, put them in the front, and took the smaller wheels, which I just brought up at Amazon, and put them in the back. I do want that a little center, so I might just take that off and put the wheels center. But then again, I need the traction. So I want them at the edges of the corners, but look at the big size comparison. Look at that, guys. That is a comparison size. I do not recommend this size wheel. I do recommend getting an eight inch. That's an eight inch wheel right there. That's five. That's eight. Eight. Five. Eight. Five. Eight, five. So I did make a mistake, thinking that these were six inches. Turns out, I was absolutely wrong. So I need to get eight inch wheels. It's a little slanted in the back a little bit, you can tell, but it's gonna roll fine, trust me. With that said, do you guys want to go for a test run? All right. Here we go. Not too bad. It does turn. So it's gonna to have to do it for right now. Sorry. So then again, the panda made a mistake. Thinking this was six inch. And I should have measured the wheels, but I don't have one. And I knew something was up, and I was like, wait, these wheels don't look that big. Because they don't look that big. So with that said everyone, I am gonna keep these because uh, I need the bearings from here. I need to take the bearings out. But I wanna show you how many times I can try to glue it. And you can see where that clear glue turned into a blue glue. You can see that the glue turned blue or greenish. When we try to use the crazy glue, and you can see where the glue just ooze out from the crack. And you can tell like, you see how that's kind of blue, greenish, bluish? Yeah. But this one is cracked. You can see the crack right there. See that big white line crack? Yeah, that's the soft spot like making this and then this one we had to crazy glue the inside so the bearing was stayed in one place yeah it's this side we have to crazy glue this bearing inside we're gonna take the bearings and we're gonna take this out because we're gonna use it for the next wheel for the next wheels that we do purchase this time we're gonna purchase eight inch wheels because technically th that's an eight inch wheel and I just want to show you why we were so skeptical look how close that is to the frame 
see that? That's how close it is. So, a inch. I really, really, really love to find this exactly model wheel, but TMZ doesn't sell it. They don't know who actually makes it. They just get a supply chain of it and they assemble their wagons. But I really emphasize that TMC may want to think about selling parts to the wagon. Like let's say, for instance, the ball bearings that just recently bought. That's an accessory. Or maybe the basket, if it breaks, that's an accessory. You can sell another one for like 20 bucks, right? And you can sell the wheels for like $30 each or $27.99. So with that said, everyone, we could have just sent these back and just waited another few days, but Amazon has to refund you your money back. And then you have to wait three to five days and then you can order. So we weren't gonna do that because we needed to roll around. And today we are going to Long Island City because uh, I want to. I want to use. I actually used it, but I used the last six dollars I had to order from the to go good to go app, and I'm ordering from a Greek restaurant. I want to see the comparison between the food that I got here yesterday, which was mediocre, and I want to see how much food if I go outside of Manhattan. I want to see how much food they would give me for. $5.99 because it said a it said an $18 value worth of food. So with that said everyone, I use this app called oh, I don't even have it here anymore. Did I delete it? Oh my god. Too good to go. And I already have ordered my food for this evening. As you can see, I gotta wait to, all the way to 10.30 p.m. for my food. That's when I can pick it up. So, I only got a short window of time. I guess it doesn't hurt to have a couple of spares, plus they're small, so they, they, well, these are not small, but these are small, but we have to replace those. And I'm not gonna replace those until they wear out. You can see these wheels have traction still. They still have some grip. This is why I love these wheels from the original TMZ wagon that we had. But these, this wagon in particular came with a different set of wheels that were not ideal. That's why you see it doesn't really fit properly. So we have to make spacers. But that's what I need your help in. I need to get some real spacers and I need to go to the hardware store. And I'm going to go back to the Lexington hardware store at some point to get my spacers, but uh, need to literally replace those plastic ones with some really strong titanium ones. But for right now, I'm a little tired. It's a little humid, it's hot. Uh, I'm gonna go to Long Island City. Uh, I'm gonna go there because I really don't like the city. I only came back here because I wanted to go to Mount Sinai to get my asthma and levelize the treatment. Uh, and also, I want to talk about that from last night's video because it seems like a guy named Mike seems to not care about my health. So let me just explain this, Mike. Listen, I'm entitled to make complaints about things that happen in this city. And obviously you just came into the channel not knowing now, knowing who I am, where I came from, it just made some very bad assumptions, friend. So I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, before you judge people, you should really study people first before you say anything that's going to hurt you, not me, because this is hurting you, friend, because you make yourself look like a tool when you tell me, get any job, get any job. Not many times we have heard that in this channel. And how, you know how many times New Yorkers have to say, you just can't not get any job. That just defeats the purpose of living in New York City. This is about taking the best job you can get in the city because rent is sky high. And not everyone is affording the rent and not everyone is gonna to continue to afford the rent and not everyone's gonna to continue to live here. 
food's expensive, transportation's expensive, rent is highly expensive. So, with that said, everyone, I wanted to address this to Mike. You should really study how we got here one year ago before you make judgments because I want to say this to anyone that does this, to any YouTuber. Listen, just because someone, and this is another thing I want to point out, homeless awareness. His issue was he never asked me once about my health. He never asked me how I was doing in the comments. He literally went on a parade of an attack on the comments, because it is a parade of an attack, to talk about I should just find any job in the city. Knowing that, my friend, you don't live in the city, obviously, because I can tell by your comments. Because every time someone comments and says, get your, any job in the city, they 99% they don't live in the city. <laughs> They 99%. I only met two people that was in my comments that live in the city. So, with that said, everyone, I just wanted to share this moment with Mike. Because obviously, Mike hasn't hasn't realized where we came from one year ago. And mind you, and I said this in his, uh, I replied back and said, for someone that never actually watched one of my videos because i know who comes in and out of this video it's, i know i can check the comment and read the comments all the time never seen you here before you just jumped shipped and started attacking the main reason why i'm a youtuber first and foremost mike you should be grateful that i'm not robbing anyone i'm not stealing i'm not deceiving anyone i'm not portraying i am being very transparent and this is why i asked you do you have any idea how much courage and endurance that I had to take to share all of my secrets, my personal secrets between my first wife that committed suicide, my loss of my child, and loss of the girlfriend, and my divorces and everything else in between my family. Can you say for the for the can you say with every cent in your bank account right now, Mike, that you can do what I'm doing as of this moment? You can literally educate you can literally educate people. Because you already have the skill sets. I already have the skill sets. And that's the problem you fail to realize. This is why I say you should check my link in how many jobs, professional level jobs that I had over the course of my 25, 30, 25 years working. Not just as a chef, mind you, a sous chef or a chef or a cook, but as a waiter, as as someone does sales, because I used to work for Blades when we came to New York back in 97, 98, we talked about that. We also worked for a part of Citigroup company called Covent. We also worked for a social justice. We worked for HUD. We also worked for a 501c3, not one, but four in three different states. So let me ask you this question, sir. Why are you guys continue to berate me about being, being homeless for one year when I don't see you taking the time out, reaching your hand out to any of the homeless in your communities, because I guarantee you, you guys don't. And some of you may have done that effort or made the effort to do so. But let me ask you this question, Mike, do you actually go out and do your day and literally shake the hands of a homeless man or help him out when there's time to need? Because you obviously don't do it. Just the way your, your language from your comment explain everything and i'd be careful if i were you sir because i study psychology education i pretty know i pretty much dissect everyone that's what i do and obviously you jump shipped and that's what i'm talking about why is african americans attacking other honest honest other blacks for what reason i can tell you what the reason is ladies and gentlemen and I can clearly have, I can, you can clearly state this in the comments. We have said this, someone has said this before. And I said, oh, you're just now aware of that. It's because technically, I'm a dual citizen. And this is what happens. No, 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 don't deny it. Don't deny it. Don't deny it because you do it to the Africans. You do it to the, you do it to, to the Nigerians here in New York City. Black Americans do this thing they call discrimination towards other blacks. Yeah, you guys do it to the Nigerians. Don't say you don't, because you do. Please don't. <laughs> I see it all the time. 
you do it to anyone that is not I guess down with your program not all the not every black is not every black Americans like this but those that feel like they entitled to tell someone else to do when obviously what are you doing in society that's benefiting society because obviously as I said I am not robbing, I'm not stealing, I'm not deceiving, I am being very transparent. But everything we do, everything we spend, everything we, everywhere we go, everywhere we go to a job interview. And as I said, you don't watch the videos because you just watched it because if you did, you would realize we had several job interviews here. And every time we went to a job interview, sir, the last one was the restaurant job that literally the guy said, do you sure you want to work here? I'm just saying, man, like, you have other skill sets, and, like, I know you want to jump back in the restaurant business. It's been a while. It's like, has it really been a while? But you keep asking the question, do I really want to work here? Is this a place long-term for me? <laughs> and that's the thing that I always get from my HR. So you worked a lot of places, sir. Can you explain to me why we should actually hire you? Because it seems like... You jump from one job after one job after year after year. You have one job for two years and you... Why is that? So I'm not obligated to switch and develop and learn and, and try to do as much as I can? Am I not entitled to that? And that's the questions that HR really fails in this particular city. When it asks a dumb question like that, when it should not be asked that way, because you're saying that I'm not entitled to move on. I'm not entitled to learn. I'm not entitled to get a, get new aspects of job experience. Guys, that's why on my resume it says 16 years. 16. I got 16. Well, technically this year will be 17, so I have to update that. 17 years of business-oriented strategy skill sets. My parents own businesses. I used to own a clothing line and a business and a skate park. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out why are the, why are individuals trying to impress the audience? Because that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to impress the audience. You're not really trying to impress me. You're trying to impress the audience so you can have the last word. But I'm always gonna have the last word, friend. Let me explain why. Because everything that you just mentioned, you said you were wrong about. Everything that you described about my idea, just like that lawyer lady. The wrong idea. You guys don't live in New York City. You have no idea what it's really truly about. This is why I make the videos. To show you in real time what takes place. Not everybody here is happy with the results. And not everyone here is happy with the way to live it. The way of life here two cops just got literally robbed can you literally tell me like <laughs> you you got something for that do you have something for it because if you do you need to be a judge you need to you need to go to you need to go to albany and you need to change the re the reform bill because if you don't have anything to say then i should just keep it to the minimum and know what you know because obviously you don't know what you know and obviously you don't do your research so with that said everyone and this is as i said this goes for anyone that comes into the channel please don't judge watch the videos in full and then yes watch the videos in full because not all videos are the same some of them are about skating some of me are talking about other situations some of these situations are talking about ely and apparently, like I said, I told you guys the other day, I ran into a rollerblader that literally said, that, but they did the research. They just know there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no research on you and E together. I'm like, that's the thing. Why should they be? And that's the problem with people today. You have to prove to people, literally guys, I literally have to prove to people where I was and who I'm being with. That is such a disgusting barrier of my privacy. That's why I don't hang out with rollerbladers. When rollerbladers meet up with you randomly and then tell you to give up 
and let it let the system do it. No, the system's not going to do anything, friend. You are the system. You have to fight. You have to stand up for your loved ones. And I'm going to stand up for Ely's rights. This is why I told you guys. And this is one example. Why are people telling me to do the opposite? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been listening to people all my life. My parents, listen to professional, listen to my ex-wife, even listen to my ex-wife in two last year. Literally. Come on. Listen to people all the time. And we, and look what that got me. That literally got me nowhere after one year. Now I want to do something for myself. It's a problem. So what that tell everyone? If it's such a problem, then I say this to you once again. Take everything that I do and say on this channel, because this is my channel, not yours, with a grain of salt. You do not have the obligation to tell anyone whatsoever after you don't do your own research by telling someone what you did earlier, by telling me, just find any job in the city. And we just made a video why we are leaving the city right after my hospital visit. And I just made that video before I went in, back into the hospital. So this is why I emphasize, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't watch the content, then you should just discontinue watching my channel. Just, I'm, 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 I'm being strictly honest and straight up with you right now. You should unsubscribe right now and just, and just leave with a grain of salt. Yes, you should unsubscribe right now. Because obviously you're not paying attention. This is why I said earlier. This is why I said earlier. And Maka would say it. Maka here would tell you. And all my moderators would say it. How many times Pan is going to say it. Ladies and gentlemen. You guys are repeating. Let him repeat himself. I remember the other day you asked him. No it was not Mike. It was someone else. This is a new Mike. He has caps in his names. I remember the other day you asked him. If he ever been homeless also oh, that is the same mic it's a new he's the same mic he, ah so here's the new mic that came in the last time we made the video ah thank you for pointing that out I appreciate that see yeah and he never answered that question that goes to figure why are you telling someone else that is literally houseless at the time and homeless to do what <laughs> yeah when you never answer my our question, have you been homeless? Have you been in this situation? And mind you, I've been in this situation for a year now. I want to know, can you do what I do? Literally, you can't, you can't. Cause you don't have the mindset. You don't have the, you don't have the mindset. I guarantee you, this is why you don't have the mindset, sir. I know you probably smoke and I know you probably drink and being out here homelessness let me tell you the same. Drugs and alcohol will overtake your life if you don't have control. That's a no fact. And I see it all the time. People just give in. I see there's a fucking Italian boy homeless over, out here now. I always hanging out over there with, those, with, the, with, with the Nigerians, smoking weed now and drinking. I remember first seeing him. He was in my videos, ladies and gentlemen. He was sleeping over here by himself with his luggage. Now he doesn't even have his luggage. Now he just gave up. We could go over there and go check him where he's sitting. That's all the homeless people sit, right at that circuit over there. So let me explain something to you, Mike. I am stronger, I'm not better than you, but I'm wiser because I am not doing any of the things that you think or whoever thinks that. Because let's be honest, People think homeless people do bad things all the time. They think they we drink, we do drugs all the time. You don't see any alcohol in my backpack. What you see? Accessories to make money, not to abuse money. I literally spend money traveling to make these, make videos and make photography this whole entire year. And you guys are giving me shit to go find a job. What if I don't want to find a fucking job? One, if I have something, like I said, planned, in store, a restart. And I said this many times before on this channel, a restart, a restart. We need a reset, a restart. I have said it, and I'm not stupid. I, <laughs> so with that said, everyone, 
and the news one was and I'm like, okay. But with that said, everyone, I, I just I just want to emphasize why people do not listen, people don't pay attention, people make assumptions. This is why people are always gonna make assumptions. If you're black, doesn't matter. If you're black, people are always gonna make assumptions. If I was a white boy, let's be honest with you, you would you would never tell me that shit in the comments. Why? Because I was white. You have no authority to tell me because you fear that I'm white and I would tell you, well, you go to get a job. And I would use some people like to use the N-word. Like it's like as if that's a I don't know why you guys get all tied up about that N-word. It's just a word. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You guys get tied up when someone calls you the N-word. Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna argue? You wanna make you wanna make your statement? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a word. That's why I know. That if you out here, sir, you would never survive because you would never take criticism. I take criticism all the time and I give criticism and I have a title to do criticism. That's my job to give criticism as a documentarian, a journalist. It is my job to get criticism to the failed system that New York is providing. Look at what's going on right now. Let me make a good example once again. New York City is providing immigrants that are coming off the bus from Texas. Free housing, free food necessity. Don't believe what the news tells you because they went to see the whole protest. There's only tens of thousands. It wasn't even hundreds of people there. There was tens of people there. Because New York City is trying to, it's so confused, but wait, wait, wait. We asked, we asked for these services and they told us no, but now the mayor wants to reach out to federal government agencies and said, we need a help request. Wait, 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 Mayor, you gave away our tax money to those that never fought, never eat, never slept, never worked here in their entire lives. No offense to the immigration people that came off that Texas bus, but you guys are in a, 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 in a between two mixed bad apples. And you think coming to New York, and I see you guys in the videos, you're smiling. You should not be smiling about coming to New York City. This city is going to eat you alive. If you're not strong enough. So again, Mike, can you handle New York City violence, tolerance, robberies, theft, subway system, stolen items? Mind you guys, we haven't got robbed in a while. Why? Because you stay away from the bad areas. The areas that people prone. This is why we don't want to be in Manhattan. Manhattan is one of those areas that people love to, it's, it's a hot spot. So again, Mike, or anyone out there, why are you criticizing me when I'm not robbing anyone? Everyone sees me all the time saying, hey, you're the photo guy. Yeah, man, I'm sorry about your situation, but at least you're doing something. At least you're not out here fucking robbing people. You look good, you look, you look clean all the time. You look good. I, how you how are you doing it, man? Like, let us know your fucking secrets. This is why I went on the Curry Show. Let them know the secrets. The secrets are don't let men or women take your identity away. And this is why I say to you folks that want to criticize me, you're literally trying to take my identity away to emphasize a bullshit identity. My identity is what I am, which means. It's what I become. I'm grateful for the push and grateful for the advice I say in getting a job, but some of you guys are doing it to a point where it is berated. And you're doing it intentionally because the way you say in the comments is attention. You're berated by saying like, you're better than me. Are you? Really? I don't have a criminal record, don't have a physical record, don't have any record other than a record in Japan of Maybe it got into a fight and blah, 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 but that, that's not here. Never got arrested in Canada, never got arrested in Pat. Well, you kind of got, we got three tickets. Three, side, well, three partition papers in Paris. We, we pay for those respectfully. Yeah, we got a ticket for feeding the homeless out in Paris. Yes, you guys don't remember that story, but if you go back on this channel, I talked about my experience back in Paris, like why I left. I got arrested a few times for feeding the homeless. 
That's why we came back to the States. That's why we said, you know what, let's go to Vancouver. Let's go back to Wisconsin. We were getting picked on because, yes, just like the States, they want to label the homeless. This is everywhere. Some, some countries don't want any homeless in their country. And you guys thinking about you did, you, you, you guys want to complain about what I'm doing when I did so much for every single community I possibly can in my entire 41 years. Actually, I'm 42 now. I forgot it was my birthday like two weeks ago. <laughs> See, when you get food poisoning, you just forget about it. everything's important. Oh, wow. See? Well, like I said, everyone, I'm just sharing. And I'm just sharing my experience. If you don't take it with a grain of salt, then you're not literally listening. You're not considering. You're not even thinking of consideration. You're thinking about, oh, this guy needs to get a fucking job. He's an asshole. He's just berating. He's just making wrong. No, if I ask you guys to support the videos and say, hey guys, I need your help on something. Something bad happened. Is there anyone out there that's willing to just do me that solid favor? And when someone did the solid favor, I ended the donations. We got what we wanted. For now, we needed to replace the wheels. So now I need to take the wheels off and slide that a little bit because you can see where most of the weight is leaning on one side. That can break this axle. So we need to put the we need to put the wheel in the we need to put place the wheel in the middle. So we need to take that off. So if you guys want to support the channel. It's your obligation. You don't have to. That's why there's a Patreon. Yes, there's a physical Patreon. That's supporters can help artists, creators support the content that they make. Because this, mind you, the software that I use to edit and all that stuff, guys, I still have to pay for that monthly. $10 here, $10 there, $10 there, $10 there. Guys, literally, you think all those subscriptions are free that I have? Ha! <laughs> Adobe is good. You think that's true? Yes, I still use Adobe and I still use I still use Oh wow, see This is real. This is New York City. This is what people do. They, they spread their business I would never do that in front of my workplace <laughs> Never Never display emotion in front of your workplace. Unless your boss or your colleagues are concerned if you had a, you know, a death in the family or someone's sick and they're ill. That's different, but this guy is like berating on some chick. Listen, not trying to get involved. Don't want to get involved, but we don't want to show either. But with that said, everyone, this is New York. So with that said, I'm just going to fix this really quickly. If you guys want to watch me fix it, I got to take everything off now. So be patient. And as I said, there's a Patreon where people can physically support the art and the sacrifice I make about my art. Now, if you don't know how to sign up on Patreon, there's a PayPal, Cash App, and a Venmo. That's your choice. this wagon now I am going to take the wheel off you guys are probably saying how are you getting the goods I'm actually going to wait to rush hour where people open the gate and when people open the gate I can just walk right through yes I am literally telling you guys that I'm not going to pay my subway fare because I don't have it but I don't want to be in Manhattan I want to go to a community with If this food is not that good, and I, if I cannot eat this food, I would have to find another homeless person like I did yesterday, give a food away. And by the way, that guy was like, oh man, this is pudding? I was like, that's a, that's a vegan pudding though. 
He said, ooh. I said, trust me, it's probably better than what you're thinking right now. <laughs> and he's eating some shit from the shelter. I have no idea what it was. He was eating something. And it didn't look very appetizing. But anyway, friends, I'm the piano photographer. I've been a photographer since I was 12. I've been shooting professionally since I would say probably like I want to say like eight years ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say eight years ago. I went professional. Wow, this guy is so loud. So that was my child. I'm like, hey, 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 man. I know this is a good time, but hey, hey, my child's here. I know people miss you up. You're an asshole, but right now you're being an asshole. <laughs> I am trying to get this in the middle. I'm not saying anything. I'm just telling you guys right now, this is not how New York is supposed to have the act in front of the people. Wow, he's telling another man on the phone to shut up. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about that now. That's some next level man stuff. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. How can you tell someone shut up? They won't shut up. Think about it. If they won't shut up, why are you even, even wasting your breath?
room. Come on. I need to get in the center. And here's another thing too. Here's another reason why we don't want to stay in New York as well. And I know I said this a few other times, but I'm sorry, but when you homeless men walk around lurking, I know you're a thief. Just like the guy today, try to come near me. Guys, there's plenty of link booth. Guys, listen to this. There's plenty of those NYC link booths everywhere. Why do you choose the one that I stand at to make a phony phone call? And I, I watched him. He's looking, look, literally looking at my bags on my wagon. Like, you're not making a fucking phone call. Let me, let me move. As soon as I moved, oh, now his phone call moved and he moves. This is why, guys, you have to pay attention to your surroundings. Damn it. I'm gonna get this in the middle. You're not slick, friends. <laughs> yeah, I think I got this stuck. I have to get this in the middle. I have to get this exactly in the middle. Look, look what I just did. Check this out, guys. Look what I just did. You see that? That's what I just did. <laughs> Fucking eh? <hell. laughs> Are you seeing this right now, friends? That yeah, just literally became the hawk and just bent metal. That's metal. That's steel. I need to get in the middle. Why does it get stuck? We need to get this in the middle. Oh. So with that said everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. Those that do not want to, that's your obligation. You can unsubscribe. I'm not here to be the number one top YouTuber. I'm here to actually do my job as a documentarian because no one actually wants to do this job. Have you realized that? No one wants to talk about the problems we have in this, we have in this country, in any other country. No one wants to talk about it. Why? Oh, everybody is like, oh, I'm on YouTube. You know? I don't want to get my, my partnership taken away. That's the problem. This is not about money. This is about awareness. Come on, I need to get that done. When's the last time I've been to a movie theater? You know? Shit, I haven't been into the movie theater in a minute. When's that? When I'm gonna take myself to a movie, I don't know. No one knows. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I should have greased it, I know, but we don't have it.
so tight though. It's so bizarre. I'm gonna hit it one more time. Ooh, look at that. It's like shaving the piece of Look at that. You see that? It's like shaving. <laughs> no, the wick. This is my old axle. This came from the old wheel that came with the wagon. But we got the wrong size wheel. That's what I showed you. Look how big this wheel is. <laughs> I thought this was like six inches. I thought this wheel was six inch. This is five. This is clearly, this is clearly an eight inch wheel. So our next order would be two eight inch wheels and these could be a backup. But they hard, Oh yeah, this is the non-air one because these last longer. I don't have to change tires. And I had these before in the six inch version. But I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna eat now. I can't, I can't wait until 11 o'clock at night. Okay, so again, I was just briefly, oh. Again, I was just briefly talking about homeless men checking out the people's belongings. And right now, I got one right now checking me out from the distance on my right. So I'm gonna actually point the camera in that direction. So with that said. <sighs> See him in a corner over there? Just standing there, looking. Well, that happens quite often. So you see he just left, right? He's checking me out. He's trying to see if I'm weak or pathetic or, he, uh, he, uh, or he's trying to look if he has an opportunity. See guys, this is why you have to be careful with your surroundings. Not everyone has good intent. You guys are probably saying, well, Penny, are, are you jumping the ship there? Nope. It's not the person. He's, guys, I've seen this guy all the time. <laughs> That's why I say, oh yeah, I got one sitting on me right now, guys. So. Just wanted you to see that. That's not, just wanted you to see that people are always on alert. They think people are weak. You're wrong, fella. You're about to get your ass kicked. <laughs> people, stop underestimating people. And that's why people rob people in groups. They never rob someone alone. They always rob in groups. Like they robbed the police officer. You robbed in groups. Oh, you put that in little cowards. 18 years old. Wow. Now you have no life. Come on, I'm gonna be rap star. Yeah. I'm gonna be a rap star, right? After you after you're done with prison. <laughs> like Pan, stop picking on those picking on those teenagers. Well the teenagers asked to be robbed. They asked I'm sorry. These teenagers ask for attention. I'm telling you, these teenagers act like everything is supposed to be given to them. We 80s babies, we have to work for it. <laughs> and we still have to work for it. Now, these babies, they just, everything's given to them on a platter, literally. And I, I wish I was born in this era. Because back in the day, oh man, I literally had to kiss my parents' ass. In order to get a decent, a decent allowance, <laughs> I had to go find a job at age 11. Oh yeah, in Japan you go find a job at 11, boy, girl or boy, you're going to find a job. 
That's why people are here to don't they don't have the tolerance. They don't. This is why I say what I say. You guys don't. People work non-stop in Japan, like 20 hour a day shifts. N no nine to five. It's like there's no such thing as nine to five in Japan. It's most like if you get called, you get called dead. And if you do party, you either have two options. If you're male, you have family, you're not going back home. You're staying in a kubiku or a capsule for the overnight and you're right back at work in five hours. <laughs> or in four hours in some cases. Oh my pen, I need to go get tools. I don't have, yeah, I don't have, oh man. I need to go get those washers. How much are those probably, like 75 cents each? I'm talking about washers like this big, like one inch, probably like a half an inch, like 50 cents, 75 cents. Yeah. Because I'm going to need it for the front wagon. I'm going to need it for the front two wagon, the front wheels. Okay. Uh, I need to get this in. Come on. Get in there, friend. Guys, mind you, these came out of these bands. These are the same bands. They are no different from the other bands. This came out of this band, this type of band. This is a 608ZZ. Gotta file it, yes, that's a smart idea. Hold on one second. Put the microphone right here. Got this like super nasty. Why is it taking a layer off though? Oh, by, by the way, this is like, a, what is this, like 8,000 grid paper? This thing can file metal and stuff. <sighs> oh, I'm getting hungry. I cannot wait till 11 o'clock. I'm too hungry. And, and I'm supposed to, oh, first, first, first and foremost, I'm already on a bad start. I was supposed to take, I don't have WD-40. I was supposed to take my meds. I didn't take them. I took my other meds because I don't need to eat with them. But. What the hell? Young, too many young people homeless in New York City, man. There's so many young homeless people here. And you know what it is? It's the, that fucking new, uh, that new drug. That fentanyl shit is going crazy. Yes, the fentanyl is actually taking over this, the youth in the city. Oops, sorry.
So you only got sandpaper, no filing. I don't have one. This is like 9,000 grit sandpaper. This is for metal. This is the last of it actually, I think. Take it with the grain of salt and use it the way it is. Turn you guys around. That's a good idea. I got it almost in the middle, you see that? You see that? Almost in the middle. Because we needed the balance so this doesn't bend left or right. You get it? So it doesn't bend left, listen. So this doesn't bend left or right like this because we just fixed this. You guys want to buy me an early uh, late lunch uh it's about that time <laughs> kind of getting hungry as fuck right now and plus i need to take my medication so i gotta take progress at first progress i took my asthma medication i'm not supposed to cross it so that's okay but what i'm not supposed to cross is the two other medications i have to take for the bleeding ulcer and still for the food poisoning still still taking that as well as a precaution for the next few days. So, yeah. we're not out of the woods yet, friends. We still gotta deal with the sick, uh, still deal with. Where's the screw? Now I can't find my screw. Okay guys, we are missing the screw. Okay. Thought I had it on the back. Don't worry, I got more. I got more screws. We 
Look at it go. It didn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for a small school, everybody. Apparently, I was a nut, actually, not a school, a nut. Oh, here it is, it's camouflage. This is so rustic and... And it's humid, and it's hot, and it's sweaty. And I'm doing all these compared. It's See, doctor, I hope my doc I hope the doctor is watching this video. He's only didn't I just told this goddamn guy to not do anything active? <laughs> I hope he is watching. So I gave him a link to my videos. Is it like you're not gonna get better, are you? You're gonna continue to you're supposed to be resting, supposed to be taking it easy. But nope, can't take it easy when you're homeless. Look what I'm look what I just showed you guys. I show a guy literally fucking staring me down, waiting for his moment. You can keep waiting, fool. Keep waiting. You're gonna be waiting a long time. I am not dropping my guard, friend. Fuck your thieves. I hate thieves now. I literally do not like thieves. These are bullies. Bullies are thieves. These are bullies. Simple as that. I don't care what no one says. These are fucking thieves. I don't like thieves. You know why I don't like thieves anymore? Because I was robbed by my own... Listen, I was robbed by the own agency. A 501c3 in Portland. Everybody know about that. Everyone's like, damn, Panda. You just got... You just got... I thought even him was your friend. Obviously he's not. He's stealing. And then try to say, I stole his bike and his flat screen television. How would I get all that stuff on a plane? I don't have, why would I want to spend money <laughs> to put that stuff on a plane when it's not even worth it? Where would I get the box? First of all, where would I get the box? So guys, this guy, even him LeBron was Converted is a Muslim man. He's a converted black man turned Muslim. Keep that in mind. He's a good man. He tried to eat with the jail for a lot of people. For a homeless people. Then he got back on the bad wagon. He started doing drugs. Obviously, drugs is a factor. Then he got back on the bad wagon. He started doing drugs. Obviously, drugs is a factor. He wasn't praying like he was normally supposed to pray or fasting. He was cheating on his fasting. And I was there for him. And then the day that I left, go to Chicago. Now, mind you, I flew to Chicago. How would I, how would I take the bike, the flat screen 52 inch flat screen TV, and get a box for it fast enough to catch my flight? <laughs> Listen to this story. How would I get a box for the bike and for the TV fast enough for my flight? Now, you think about that, guys. That's why everyone's like, he flew. How would he fly with the flash screen TV? It's going to cost him at least three, five hundred dollars just to ship that. Why would I spend my own money doing that? <laughs> so, this is what I'm going to ask people in Portland. If you still hang out with Ethan and LeBron, pay farewell and attention. You should, should keep, keep your guard up. That's all I'm saying. Keep your guard up. Man stole money, money, and my trust. Oh yeah, he allowed this guy Benjamin to steal from me too. Fucking douchebag. This is why I told people like you didn't have the experience I had. I worked for people that literally did the opposite. They said one thing, they did another. This is why I can say what I want to say. I work for too many 5-1-C-3s in this country already, and, or, or, and we just work for porch life. And as I said, Mike, you don't know about my EEOC. Do you know what an EEOC is? 
because I asked you guys the meaning of that and a lot of you that work here didn't know what that was. So, <laughs> I, I just don't understand why you guys are dropping down my door about something. That I'm not, I'm not committing any crime. Am I committing a crime right now? No. But people want to assume that I am. People want you, as the audience, to assume that I am I am doing this. Your PayPal link don't work. Yes, it does. It's right. Yeah, it does. It works. Or here it is. No, nope. it works. Hold on. So go to the website, go to my website. There's another PayPal donation link there. That might work, but I'm pretty sure that PayPal link does work. You just, you just gotta choose if you want to sign into your PayPal or you just want to just use your credit card. And that's why I set it up that way. So you don't have to set up, set up a PayPal account. Especially on a website. The website literally takes you to that page. So you don't have to sign up a Amazon, uh, a, a PayPal account. Blah, 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 blah. I just want to say eBay, and then I got caught saying Amazon. <laughs> they must be talking about me. Hurt your hands. Ow. 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 Mother. Fucker. <laughs> that literally hurt your fucking hands. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you guys are like, ooh, look, a hand model. Yes, a hand model. Oh, uh, uh. the mic keeps freaking moving up and down my neck like that that's so annoying so yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna i can't wait to order the new ones yeah i can't wait to order the new the new wagon the new wheels the bigger wheels yeah and we're gonna order new axles bolts that's a that's a yeah that's a that's a m390 mil because they're the, the the people from tmz told me that this here this piece here this piece here is called a 3m this is m3 90 mil so the length is 90 and the bit is a 3m So we get we need to get new ones because two of them are bent this is why this guard has to go in this protects that from being bent that's why i want it in here until we get the new the bigger wheels at some point i'm getting hungry oh my pen maybe i need some gatorade or something i feel like i have no energy Drink some water. I'm gonna move this mic. Mm. Hey. But I appreciated the, uh, who is it? Zing videos for trying to donate. Wow. 
Is it his first time in here too? I don't remember seeing him or her or them. Maybe I have. I gotta look at the comments from the videos from previously. That's what I do. I literally read all those comments, the ones I miss. And then I read the other comments from other videos. So, yeah. Mike keeps moving. It's so sweaty and humid, that's why. It's like trying to stick to my skin. Yeah, I got the microphone right here. But with that said, everyone, it's been an hour in this live stream, about an hour and 11 minutes. Uh, some of you are very talkative, some of you are not. Some of you just want to see me fail. Mr. James says, you got to get that WD-40, bro. I'm sorry, man. Didn't get the WD-40. That actually is jammed. If you keep pounding on it, it will flare out. Oh, yeah. I started to notice that, too. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right about that, Mr. James. Yeah. I'm just going to deal with it for the time being. Put on this side. No, should I put on this side? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, let's put on this side. Alright, guys, I'm gonna put it back on. Because Mr. James got a point there. So, I'm not gonna fuck it up any further. Oh, right on my fucking screen. Why is the. So, but I am going to get a washer. Okay. You really don't have any energy. All my pens, I, I really don't. I really feel like I don't have any energy right now. Jeez. Come on, panda. Someone puking. <laughs> Sounds like child, child talk.
no one wants to work in this area. Okay, where's the school again? That's not a friend at all. <laughs> that is not a friend. That's someone that's looking for you to make a, an ass of yourself. And you just gave him an opportunity. Or did she? But she didn't. But damn. You ask your friends to pew to make them look like. Wow. You rich people are really that fucking. That evil, huh? <laughs> That's good to do anything for entertainment, I guess. I just can't believe she just asked her to... Oh, my hand up. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Remind me of an achievement to watch Watch Dogs 2. Take a picture of someone throwing up. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, watch dogs. Yeah, you can do those stupid missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, what's the other one? Cl uh, King and Lynch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Clean and Lynch. Oh, that was really good one too. It's that, those games were hardcore. <laughs> you do these really weird missions and yeah, yeah. All right. It's gonna have to do for now, knucklehead. Yeah, those look like you need a new cart. Uh, I need what I need to do is get the correct size wheel and get the eight inch because these are actually eight inch, not six. And as you can see, I showed you guys earlier where it was broken, where it's cracked. Where this wheel, you can see how thin it is. Look at how thin this wheel is compared to how thick that is right now. Look how thick that is. Look how thin that is. And not only that, it cracked right there. Cracked right there. And the wheel is coming off. You can see that when I tried to crazy glue it, but the glue turned blue instead. Like I said, a chemical reaction. But you can see it's an easy coming off. This, these wheels are not good. But I need to get the bearings off because I want to save the bearings. Yeah, I want to save these bearings. And the spacer, because I'm going to need that spacer. So, my hands got dirty. Oh, fucking yeah. I'm gonna have to go down there to the hobo station to clean our hands. I don't like going to this bathroom because all the homeless people. Oh, there's that fucking guy right there. There he is. Be fucking this guy. Try to be all nice and try to pretend he's on the phone. Dude, it's a Saturday. No offices are open. That's when I know you're lying. You're checking me out. Yeah. That guy right there was checking me out earlier at, a, at, at one of the link booths over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think he's slick. I ain't no stupid fool. But what that tell everyone? But, hey, Glenn. Good to see you. Oh, my hand. Sorry, guys. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. We just finally made a mistake with ordering the wrong size wheel. Now we know these are 8 inch. Now we can order 8 inch wheels.
while. My hands got dirty, and now I'm hungry. Oh my pan, let's get this clean this up. So I'm getting too hungry. I can't. Uh, yeah. But I did order food for tonight, but I have to wait until about 10:30. I go pick it up at what 10:45. I know, that's a late dinner. I know, that's a super fucking late dinner. My ass is already asleep off my time. Why are you going to sleep so early then, man? Give me that, 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 not those a few times, but it's not guaranteed when they see the wagon, like, oh yeah, I don't need you, man. You got too much stuff. It's like, no, oh, fuck you then. You got a big ass truck. You can't put that in a big ass truck? <laughs> it's always these construction guys too, talking to shit. You got a big ass truck. Oh, you want you don't want to scar your nice your nice new pickup. Oh, I, I get it. Too late, you work in construction. Sorry enough. <laughs> I like sitting on construction pieces, they literally don't find a and they don't want to get scarred up. Come on. Oh. oh, I need to tell the doctor about my little chest pain again. Having that chest pain right there again. Ooh. Just started my antidepressants. Which link will be, which link will get the donations to you right away? Cash up or PayPal? No, cash, ca cash up or Remo. Burner, his cash up don't super chat. We won't get it into next month. Yeah. Did you hear about what YouTube just did? Did you guys hear about that? They didn't apologize to anyone. They knew the algorithm was messing up everyone's YouTube channels, and YouTube just said, "You know what? You're not gonna say sorry. You're gonna say f you." <laughs> This is why you need a wagon. This is why you need a wagon, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to be like that. Lugging your luggage down New York City streets. You do not want to do that. This is why we got a wagon. So we can get out of places fast. But Glenn, thanks for being the moderator. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you everybody for listening. Thank you everybody for masturbating. Did I just say that? Oh my panda, because I know someone's masturbating in my videos. <laughs> Someone has a fetish of me. <laughs> <laughs> but yet I'm at crazy Central Park actually this is probably one of the best parks New York City has to provide honestly every other park in New York City it seems like New York City parks do not want to take care of the parks in the urban neighborhoods of the park where poor people live they only take they only take care of the parks where rich people live it's true look at look at my videos we went to one part of Brooklyn and that park was like, looked like shit. You go one part of Brooklyn, and then, why is this park open and it has an open bathroom? The bathroom is so clean, so mean. Like the skate park, we go to the skate park, that bathroom, the men's bathroom, totally out of service. Someone literally took a number two, 20 times 400,000 nuclear bombs and shit it up the whole bathroom. So if I would take you back to the Lower East Side Skate Park and show you the bathroom, you guys would be like, are you serious? Like, yes, this is a poor neighborhood. So now you just go back into the rich neighborhood and look at their bathroom in the park. It's so clean. Like that one down here, it's so clean. So this is why I say New York City is so biased about everything they do. They're hypocrites of everything they do. I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about the city officials that run the city. New York City Parks Department. You have parks around the city that needs to be taken care of. Give people jobs. Seriously. You, the city wants to make this place look better, then give them jobs. Right? Give the people jobs. Let, let the people decide what they need. They want a job, they want to help the city, they want to look good doing something for the parks, for the conservative part of the NYC parks. Yes. But are they going to pay well? Yeah, that's another question. Depends on your skill sets. If you know anything about aquaculture, which I do a lot, so someone like me that knows a lot about aquaculture, oops, 
Kind of meal. Someone that knows agriculture like me would definitely get a job and definitely get paid what? The closest MIPD was near profit price was paid like what, seventeen thirty five an hour? A lot of Number one, my my friend Ala from Saudi. He's the only male that was actually a really good roommate, and he wasn't even a roommate because he was supposed to be my roommate, but he wasn't here on time to sign the lease. We found out that was illegal. That what the landlord did. That's why we want our rent money back. Half my rent money back. So, uh, yeah, she was discriminated because she didn't trust a Muslim man. I'm like, but I'm half Muslim myself. I'm, a distant relative of another relative. Oh my panda. It's like, oh my panda. That's why me and Chie and Drewy decided like, you know, we're not going to be with this bitch. Screw this, screw this landlord. Yes, this happened in Wisconsin. That's why I said in my last video, Muppet's Apartments in Madison, Wisconsin, literally tried to deceive everyone. By saying we caused damage to the apartment, we did not. We got video of that. I still have that video on Facebook. That's the crazy thing. Facebook is so scary that it literally shows you what you did 12 years ago. <laughs> it's like, hey man, I don't want people to know that I did that 12 years ago. Fucking Facebook. That's what I'm talking about. Evasion of privacy. Now. Why are you showcasing that to, to people? I didn't actually do that, Facebook. Maybe I want to forget about that moment. Maybe that person did something bad to me in that moment. And you want to bring it up? Oh, Panda. This is why I don't trust Nada. Now I'm on a new platform called Necro. Oh, actually, I've been on that platform. I just discontinued to use it. Because it wasn't trending back in the day. But now it's trending. And look at all my... Look at my... Look, look. Look at my my uh, my account on my uh, actually I need I need to link that in the description by the way. Yeah, what are you what are you guys talking about now? Okay, so my hands are dirty. I remember I tried extras just. Oh, we got a ten dollar donation. We just received a ten dollar donation. Don't what? Just don't. You know what's gonna buy me, friend? My subway ticket to Long Island City. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a fucking another ticket in New York City. Oh yeah, I did get a ticket in New York City hopping a train. And I gotta pay for it. I'm literally trying to go to a driver's interview. You want to give me a ticket? I'm telling you why I don't have money. I'm homeless here. What do you fucking expect me to do? I don't care. Walk. I did. This is why my doctor told me not to walk. The first time. But I didn't listen. And I walked again and I walked more and I got sick. I caused myself to have all these problems. So, it goes to show you that New York City is not very open minded.
things are so I put the wheels in this basket here so yeah look at that see the extra the extra hammock came in handy veggie noodles gluten free oh dude Glenn uh, vegan food is not cheap in New York City people are trying to make money off right now literally people are literally taking the taking inflation to a whole new level right now People literally are abusing the inflation system right now. Guys, you go to the supermarket right now, you're gonna find bananas for like $2.99 a pound, which they normally $1.19, $1.29. The highest I've ever seen it, $1.49 per pound, right? Now it's $2.99, $2.13, $3.19 a pound. What? Wait, wait, wait. Here's, here's another thing, fabrics. That's also going up. Closing fabrics, yes, that's also going up, friends. Yeah, there's no ring. At least one would try. But with that ten dollars, it's going to give me on the subway. I'm going to buy my five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, oh, maybe you should not do that because I am kind of hungry. Shit. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I switched it up on my uh, my mosquito impellent. You guys are gonna probably choke the shit out of me if you see this, but like, you see this bottle here? This is a mosquito impellent. This is the, guys, this is better than off. I've been buying the off spray for like $5.59 from Target, right? And it doesn't last that very long, right? I brought this bottle, I know, for $12.99. Right, but guess what? This is an oil form. All you have to do is spray it in your hand like oil and wipe it down your arm or your legs or your neck, your body. And literally, this is probably better and it has natural ingredients. None of that processed bull crap. So this is what I'm using. This was $13 and it worked last time. Literally, when I was using the off spray, I used to have to spray every two hours. This lasted me throughout the whole night. I literally went to bed at like nine o'clock last night. I woke up at 3.30 just to bathe and shower. And like, I didn't have bumps or mosquitoes. Right now, I'm, I have it on my skin. And mind you, there's a lot of mosquitoes around. And they're not even biting me right now. So I recommend STEM. STEM. So look this product up. If you look, if you live in a very heavy mosquito area, you may want to buy this instead of the off spray because that stuff is just bull crap. And it, it leaves a white residue on your clothes and on your underarms. I noticed that in my t-shirts. So this is another reason why I brought this because it was leaving white residue. So with that said, everyone, yes. That one is the reason why I started gardening a few years ago. Right now I'm eating fresh bell peppers. Oh, my panda. Do you have any watermelon, sir? And some cucumbers and and, and mango. You mix those three together and trust me. And, 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 and just a little bit of blueberry and you are golden. Yes, I said cucumber. Cucumber is actually a fruit. Just like tomato is actually a fruit. You guys are like, what? No, motherfucker, it's a vegetable. No, tomato is actually a fruit. Yeah, you didn't know that. Yeah, and also cucumber is also a fruit. Because it's, it's, it's a fruit and a vegetable because it is also sweet and sour at the same time, but mostly sweet on the, on the most side. Depends on what kind of cucumber you get from what region, because everyone has their own type of cucumber. Oh. Alright guys, we fixed the wagon, sort of, until we get bigger wheels. 
we're gonna have to replace all of that but we know that the bigger wheels now actually i'm gonna get the six inch six inch is not so bad right we're gonna get the six inch state state in safe zone but the six inch costs the same price as that and the eight inch so yeah i don't know we'll see it let's just try to get the fuck out of here before someone else does something stupid i feel like that's about to happen right now because <laughs> this this area here is known for it's a homeless drug activity Take out my substance into the Amazon hub counter inside Columbus Circle Whole Foods. Save my sandpaper. We gotta go down there. We gotta go down there to wash our hands. Cause I'm not walking around the city with dirty hands. Look at that. Yeah, look how I groom. See, you see that grooming? That's that's called grooming, like a pro. Yeah, we need to go down there and wash our hands. And I don't use the soap in the bathroom because that soap sucks. This is why, guys, you got to use the Dr. Squash soapy. That soap does work. But I use my own soap because I know that what we just put our hands in, dirt and whatever. New York City is dirty. And as the doctor said, I have to wash my hands all the time. Everything I'm touching could be a potential risk for me. So that's why we also have to wash our hands. So we are trying to listen to the doctor. That means we're gonna sanitize everything we just touched now. Oh my fucking panda. <laughs> yeah, I have to sanitize everything now. I'm telling you that I, I wish you, I wish I can I wish the hospitals you can record in there, but certain devices in there are so sensitive. You don't get cell phone signal. Sometimes you, you have to literally stand by the window to get a cell phone signal and then Wi-Fi is not free. If, yeah, if you want to pay for the premium Wi-Fi or cable television, you got to pay for that in the hospital as well. And if you do not have money, well, you're on the poor man's Wi-Fi. So you only can use it for one hour a day or up to two hours per day, which that's what I was doing the whole entire time, conserving my minutes in the hospital. <laughs> Fucking eh. <laughs> conserving Wi-Fi minutes. <laughs> That sucks that you have to do that in a hospital. They can't even give you free Wi-Fi. <laughs> After the city just got you food poison and gave you an a an bleeding ulcer too. Oh, that's 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 fantastic. Oh, that's rolling very smooth now. Yeah. Yeah, that's rolling very smooth. So much better. Kenny Long says, Pen, are you good? I don't know. You got some you got some food for me? <laughs> got some long tongue, you got, you got some you got some vegan dumplings and some Oh, you know we be good. Vegan pho. Mm -mm -mm. people either you share the sidewalk or don't get on the sidewalk this is why i don't want to be on the sidewalk people don't share sidewalks i literally have to walk over off the sidewalk just to get around people we had it's don't exist anymore look how smooth the wagon is though trash is right here guys gotta dump the trash oh this wagon's rolling smooth now look look at that Yeah, 
I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, this is rolling pretty smooth now. I don't even have to push it. They let it go and it just goes on its own. Before it wasn't doing that. All right, we gotta wash our hands.